I speak with women every day about what is possible for their businesses with online courses and memberships. As I talked about in the Courses versus Membership episode, this pandemic time has done a lot for bringing an already digital experienced world more into the mainstream. Audiences are primed for seeking out and taking in content digitally now more than ever. Have you asked yourself, how do I get in on that? (laughs) Or said to yourself, that's not going to work for me. My business is in person. Then today's episode is a must listen. You're listening to The Long Game Podcast with Sandra Scaiano. In a world where everyone is doing, it's easy to get lost in a sea of comparison, secret tricks, and promises of overnight success. The long game is my approach to business, the actual day in and day out philosophy that you have to show up, you have to do the work, and there's no quick fixes for long-term success. I'm a web designer, digital strategist, and energetic thinker, and I'm here to share the process and lessons I experience with my clients daily who are going through the same struggles of building a business as you are. We'll hear from successful entrepreneurs sharing their long game strategies, and I'm fun, so we're going to have a little fun along the way too. Thanks for being here. Let's get to today's episode. Hello, hello. Today we are talking about how different industries have monetized their expertise into digital courses and memberships. It's natural for us to think of certain industries when thinking of video learning. PBS, Food Network, and HGTV have completely normalized home-themed tutorials. But these days, courses and memberships are full-on multimedia. I mean, there are audio courses, all video courses, all text or PDF download courses, and variations of all of these. Just as how you're listening to this podcast, you could be listening to some other type of instruction. The most popular vehicle for online learning is, of course, video. And it allows for instructor connection. It allows for demonstration or showing of a process. And it allows for the viewer to enjoy on various devices. You know, no more are we stuck at our computer only. You know, you can enjoy it on your iPad in bed. You can watch on your phone at the cafe. Now, you know, YouTube has been a mainstay in video learning and, you know, the whole search of how to do something. But those videos are piecemeal. You know, although helpful, you can look up how to set up an email sequence. But without deeper context and even some strategy in there, those videos are just less comprehensive. You know, you would need to spend so much time pulling together uh, reputable sources that you find and locating reputable info to have the understanding that a thoughtful course provides. And now even TikTok, it's touting itself as a learning platform. They currently have an ad campaign boasting about all the things you can learn on TikTok. And this to me is a sign of the times and how much digital learning is sweeping the culture. People are out there now bringing all types of expertise online, from home to business courses to legal and graphics and photo memberships to CAD software instruction and skateboarding courses. No topic is off limits when it comes to digital courses. All right, let's just rattle off a few that I know about. Troubleshoot your houseplants with Summer Rain Oaks. Weight loss expert Gladys Detroit's The Real Deal Weight Loss Course and Membership. Tamson Horton's Bizzle Box, a course to legally zip up your business. Jen Laner's How to Hire Your Perfect Match VA. Krista Smith's Her Template Shop, a Canva template membership. Holly Gillen's Live Video Made Easy membership. RuPaul's online course that teaches self-expression and authenticity. Yes, I have watched it, and it was good. I mean, they're really You could talk about any topic via online courses now and memberships. You can learn how to start a podcast, how to learn Instagram or how to learn Pinterest. You can better your sales persuasion. You can break through your money mindset blocks and build your negotiation skills. You can finally know what the heck Google Analytics is. You can take a course on how to create an online course. Wink, wink. Mine's coming in 2021. You know, through online courses and memberships, 
You can learn how to share your story and build a community who is listening and is there to listen. You can learn how to play an instrument. You can learn cooking or baking or cake decorating. You can do mixology, which is, you know, making cocktails at home. (laughs) You know, you can get specific, super specific. Moms, learn self-care. Kids, membership, art membership just for kids. STEM activities membership. An art journaling membership. Or you can understand your ADHD brain and all that's going on there. You can get access to stock photography and tutorials through a membership. You can learn how to style your wardrobe through a membership. And another good one, learn how to create a TED Talk. You can train your dog. You could join a yoga or exercise membership. You can learn interior design or woodworking. Or home organization. I mean, even Marie Kondo has an online course now. I mean, just look at all these topics I've rattled off. These are all different industries and experts and knowledgeable people in these industries who are monetizing what they've done or what they know through online courses and memberships. Anything that is a skill you have can be translated into an online course or membership. There are no limits. There are people all over the globe looking to enhance their life, build their business, and DIY it. You have the knowledge to share. So back to the question, what could you do? Do you have a specific method that you work through with your clients? Okay, that right there. That's the premise for a course or a membership. Have you dreamed of writing a book? Well, that same information, it's an online course. Is there an area of your industry that you specialize in? That specialty is begging to be shared online. What is the long-form content that you create for your business? That can be built out for a course or a membership. And it all goes back to what is the problem that you solve? You know, as we always talk about here, the more you niche down, the more you are speaking to an audience directly. I mean, do you love gardening? Is there a specific problem you want to address with the topic? I mean, you could create an overview course, best practices, et cetera, but then you could segment out developing plants from seeds and take people through the process deeper than surface level. You could create courses based on areas of the country and their temperatures and soil compositions, all of that stuff. You know, there's so many ways to present what you know. I'm finding for myself that the best courses are ones that help me through a process or help me to understand better quickly and specifically. So rather than the long, all-encompassing course, the bite size, the smaller courses. And I know I've mentioned before how much I loved my like three-day Google Analytics course. You know, did I learn it all? Nope. But I got some solid understanding and progress. And I know where to go back for more. So if you have an expertise, let your flag fly. And here's the thing. Besides using courses to share your knowledge, you can use courses to help you service your clients in your business. You know, an online course can be an extension of you when it comes to prepping your clients to work with you. So is there something everyone needs to know or to prepare before you can start working with them? You know, build out a course so you can walk each person through it once, step by step. You know, there's really nothing like being welcomed so thoughtfully. For me, I've got an onboarding course for my clients, and it helps to explain the few programs that I use in my business. It shows where clients can find things when needed. And I've even created a PDF download with all pertinent info, like the Zoom link that we use for all of our meetings. Having this has saved me hours of time explaining and frees up our call time to get started on projects right away. Clients can onboard in their own time and then pop back in when they need to review or access something. I use courses for my clients to access all of the recordings of our calls now too. Many courses that introduce clients to my processes, access their resources, and help them to understand the student experience of the software better. That's what I create, these mini courses. Since I use Kajabi myself, and I'm building their course or membership in Kajabi, they get an immediate introduction to how things work and what's possible for themselves 
through my example of the mini course. So have I got you thinking? Are you looking at your own business, your own methods and thinking, hmm, I could really talk about this. Yes. Yes, you can really talk about this. So do some research. See what's out there. See what is happening or not happening in your industry. Then think about what your unique spin on the content is. Know that it isn't too crowded for you to join in on the online fun. Just as you have opened your doors brick and mortar or to an online audience, your people are out there. There are people who like the way you explain things and in some cases are just super excited that you are sharing what you know. And once again, when you get in the mode of creating course content, other ideas open up to you. So use this episode as a launching off point. Start to take notice and let the idea just be in your head. What could you do? Let the ideas flow without any action needed right now. Take this week and take notice of what you see and hear. Now that you're just a little bit more aware, see what thoughts you have and what connections you start to make. And we're going to dive deeper into the next steps coming up on the Long Game Podcast. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more info in the show notes at thelonggamepodcast.net. If today's show connected with you in some way, please share it with your friends or hop on iTunes and leave me a review. Until next time, keep playing the long game.